As the landscape soars past in a blur of colour, I find myself reflecting on the train trip, the people, the lessons and patience, but even more I think about the journey that has led to this point. The friendship between three that has grown over the years to form a bond so tight that it can't be broken. For the last few months we have all lived apart embarking on our own separate journeys. The three of us feel we shine when we're in each other's lives. I find myself eagerly looking forward to the day that the three of us stand in the same room again, but for now I have to settle for this long epic train ride, wishing I was breaking it down on a podium at Fluffy's and waiting for the inevitable town tour. Hi, my most embarrassing sex story is with my ex-boyfriend. I'd never orgasm through sex or really enjoyed sex. And he told me, no, just enjoy it, enjoy it. So I was trying and trying and I thought, I need to go to the toilet. And he goes, no, 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 that's the feeling, that's the feeling, go with it. And I'm like, no, Joel, I really need to go to the toilet. And he said, no, go with it, go with that feeling. And I pissed on him. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best word I have heard. <laughs> So the train ride is finally over, 29 hours worth, it was a nightmare. But we did meet some interesting characters on the train and never did get to kiss the bye boy but I did get his number and we're going to catch up in Brisbane. But the train ride, an assortment of characters, that's all I have to say and what's next, God only knows. But so far this reunion's turning out to be one hell of a reunion trip so catch you guys real soon, bye! Well, a lot's happened since our train trip. I've had a makeover and I don't have the piercing in my nose anymore because my mates all hate it. And Chris is putting ornaments on the tree, which is quite an invigorating experience. Hi guys. <laughs> How are you finding ornamenting the tree at the moment? Yeah, good babe. I actually haven't done this for like, oh, I'm thinking five years, so this is good. I'm enjoying it. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's all about family time. Yeah. So what's your fondest? Christmas memory. Did you just swear over a Christmas tree? What were you saying? What What's your fondest Christmas moment? No, but what about last Christmas? Pretty funny. Oh, last Christmas was great though. <laughs> we were trash. <laughs> Would you like to share about that Smashed. night? Smashed. Uh, maybe another time. But you'll hear the story, I'm sure. Ah, you. Are you feeling in the Christmas spirit? <laughs> How are you finding this Christmas leading up to it so far? What was that? How are you finding the lead up to Christmas so far? Entertaining, interesting, a lot of fun. So Paige, what do you think about China's um, restrictions placed on Tibet? How hot is this tree though? Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> what was that? Nah, she's preparing all the food. Would you like to tell us what we've got here? Um, it's a sun dried tomatoes, smoked oysters, asparagus, and anchovies. Oh no. Olives stuffed with anchovies. So, how do you find being around two gay boys and your boyfriend? Which is like a straight version of Chris. Entertaining. Very entertaining. <laughs> entertaining? Do you think that's the right word? Mm. Exclusive. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. I'm shocked half the time. The things you just make Luke come out with. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> Luke comes out with it all on his own accord. Yeah, it's very true. Mm. Cool. So, I quite like my makeover. I feel very fresh. It's quite a nice feeling. And not what else has been happening. It's been very dramatic being in town tour. We've had our little dramas here and there, long stories, but I haven't had a video camera to film it because it might not be the best stuff to film. But needless to say, my time in Townsville has been a very colourful, delightful, delightful, 
trashy, entertaining. Oh, I met this gorgeous straight guy, but let's not go into that. Let's just. Why? Yeah, why? <laughs> Because he's kind of perfect in every way, except that he likes the vagina, but he is also a bit confused, which usually means it's right up my alley for getting a guy, because I'm really good with those ones. And then Chad would be like, this one, day. But, but then <laughs> what happens is I, I wear my heart on the sleeve, and I get too attached, and they usually end up being right out fuckwits. So I've had to ask myself, uh, let me finish, I've had to ask myself this. Is it better to leave it at friends or pursue something and risk changing it? So I think maybe I'm just gonna not pursue anything because I don't know. He's a nice guy, don't get me wrong. Really good personality. But sometimes the personality is best to be kept rather than fucking that up too. So yes, I'm being kind of mature here. But hey, if we're both trashed and something leads to something else, I'm not gonna say no because I'll be t doing my part for the gay community is this well no I'm hoping if someone's bi curious they need to work it out so they don't get married and fuck it up later True. so in a way all you females out there I'm doing you guys a fucking favor a very big favor because the fact is we don't want to grow back mountain <laughs> well, I do but that's another story <laughs> If you were a dog, how would you find breastfeeding your puppies? If I was a dog, how would I find breastfeeding my puppy? Yeah. That could be really just look at it for yourself. So you wouldn't want to be a dog? Look at it for yourself. I filmed it. <laughs> what was that? So would you have saggy boobs after breastfeeding all your puppies? Silly question, yeah. I imagine I would be. And how would your puppies be? Would they be like cute puppies or...? Fat and full? I don't know. Red nose Fucking fiery little cunts? I don't know. If you could be any animal, what would it be? Lion. Why a lion? But you're not much of a leader, you're more of a follower. Well, I follow your ass because it stinks? No. <laughs> Bitch! I'm sorry. What do you have to follow anyway? What? Well, you're always tagging along. Why would I be tagging along though? Well, I'm curious. It's because I don't, so you've got nothing to tag along for. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Bitch. Sorry, sweetheart. You got nothing on me!